Hi, I'm Tony, and I'm going to spend the next uh, couple of minutes walking you through how to set up Chroma Scan before you start scanning. This is something that you normally just do once and don't have to do unless you change something. So let's launch the app and head over to the Settings panel. The first thing we're going to do is set our preferred language. Now, Chroma Scan comes with two voice recognition engines, one for commands and proper names, and the second for defining dates and locations. Pick your preferred language from this list. Now, if you speak with a British or Australian accent, Pick that one and you'll get better recognition. The next setup step is to add names that ChromaScan can recognize. Off the shelf, ChromaScan's offline recognition engine can only recognize a few pre-built commands. However, we have four different ways for you to import names into ChromaScan so you can tag people in your photos. The first way is to flip this switch and import all the names in your contact list. This is a great option if your phone's contact list mostly contains names of people you're likely to tag in your photos. However, if you have entries for your dry cleaner, your favorite pizza spot, or tons of boring business contacts, this might not be the right option for you. There's a better way, so let's skip this option. You can create a text file like this that contains just the names of the people you're likely to tag in your photos. Don't worry about having every last one. There's a way to enter new ones individually. When you're done, save it as a text file and make sure that it ends with .txt. Next, email this text file as an attachment to an email account that you can collect on your iPhone. On your iPhone, open the message and tap and hold on to the attachment until you get this pop-up. Slide over until you see the ChromaScan logo and tap on it. Inside the app, you can rename this list and all the names will get imported. You can even delete items on the list if you want. There's one other way to get names in your app, and this way is my favorite. ChromaScan supports the importing of GEDCOM files. If you use Family Tree software either on your computer or online, Chances are good that that service supports the ability to export a file called GEDCOM, which contains all the names in your family tree. Chrome Scan can import these names and use them for tagging people in your photos. Here is my tree on Ancestry.com, and when I go to the tree settings, I can download that file. From there, I can do the same thing as before. I email myself the file, and I can import it into Chrome Scan just by tapping on it. If I ever need to delete a list, I can just slide the list over to the left and I'll delete all the names on that list. There is one more way to get names into your app, and that's by tapping on the plus icon that is right in the middle of the screen. If you tap on this icon, you'll be able to add individual names one by one. That's it for setup. Make sure you tap the Done button in your language settings and all your names will be imported into ChromaScan, and now you're ready to start scanning photos.